Hello everyone, I am Dr. Satya Prasad Balki, Medical Director of True Vision Eye Hospitals. Today I would like to discuss with you about very common uh, eye infection which is called uh, uveitis. So before getting into uveitis, I would like to uh, teach you or tell you what uvea actually compromises of. So when you look at the uh, anatomy of the eye, we have an outer fibrous coat which is called a sclera, the white part of your eye. This is the fibrous coating of your eye or basically the protective uh, outer layer which gives protection to the inner innermost delicate structures. So this is like a coconut shell for your eye. So this sclera and inside that is the retina, the nervous system of your eye. And when you see uh, between these two lines, there is a red line here. This is the uvea. So uvea extends from the optic nerve at the back to your iris in front. Now your, your iris is like a diaphragm of the eye which regulates the amount of light entering your eye. So because this is between these two layers, uvea is predominantly a very very vascular structure wherein the blood supply to it in, is immense. So what happens when uvea gets affected is because of the rich blood supply, the infection can uh, pass by from anywhere from the retina to the front of your eye. So in this condition what happens is uh, the infection or inflammation is very high. So patient usually com uh, complains with, uh, comes to us with symptoms of blurred vision, excessive pain, redness, etc. So when it comes to, to uveitis, we need to first know the cause of it. Now uveitis, the cause can be uh, manifold. One of the most common things we, if it only involves the eye, we call it either anterior uveitis or posterior uveitis. Now this can be induced by any viral infections, bacterial infections or in immunocompromised conditions like diabetes and HIV. Other systemic conditions which cause uveitis are uh, your autoimmune conditions like besets, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, tuberculosis, etc. These conditions also uh, induce uveitis in the eye. Apart from affecting other organs of your body as you know, these conditions have a tendency to affect the eye through the uvea also. So uh, basically uh, when it comes to the infection of, uh, of this uvea, once we know that there is, this might look like uveitis, we usually prescribe a battery of tests for the patient, usually blood tests followed by maybe a chest x-ray or a CT scan too. Coming to the treatment of uh, uveitis, basic may, most important thing about uveitis, the problem here is recurrence. It is not that easy to treat because recurrence rate is very high especially when a systemic condition is involved. If it is involving only the eye, usually we uh, use the uh, topical eye drops along with some oral medications also and this results in a very good resolution of the condition. But in case it is uh, coming from the blood work, blood of the patient, uh, like it is uh, having a systemic involvement, then the recurrence chance is high and the treatment is also prolonged. This is where the blood tests and our, all our investigations come into the picture to uh, let, us, let us zero in on the proper systemic diagnosis. In case there is a systemic uh, involvement here, we would consult or consider uh, sending the patient to a rheumatologist or a general physician so that we can work in tandem and get in the proper resolution for the uveitis. Complications of uveitis are usually because of the recurrence. So you might have a recurrent cataracts or uh, any kind of uh, retinal pathologies and uh, you can also uh, uh, maybe uh, it, it can also go off into glaucoma. Now glaucoma is again a serious condition wherein the pressures of the eye are raised and the optic nerve starts to get uh, compressed. So uh, in case you are having any of these symptoms or there is a family history of uveitis, uh, please come down to True Vision Eye Hospitals and get the proper treatment for it.